Amy Karanik here in the Design Center at Polyform Products. I'm working with our Keepsake Clay Kits today to make um, ornaments which you can use with your uh, pet's paw print or with a baby's hand or foot impression. Really great keepsakes and a lot of people have asked me how I get my lettering if I want to personalize by putting a baby or a pet's name in the ornament, how I get the lettering um, neat and tidy and, and legible. So I'd like to show you a couple of different ways that I do that. This ornament already has my, my pet's paw print embedded in it. And I'm going to start with the name Max, which is a name that has all straight lines. And I'm going to use the purple tool that's included in the keepsake kit. The first thing I do is I think about the name and what would be the middle letter of the name. I always want to start right in the middle under the paw. So for the name Max, which is a simple three letter name, I'm going to start with the A. Okay, so in the right in the middle under the paw, I put the first line for the A and I kind of rock the tool back and forth like so. Okay, so that's easy enough. Now to get the crossbar on the A, I tilt my tool so that not the whole tool, the whole tool doesn't go all the way across because it's too wide. So I do half the crossbar at a time, like that. Next I'll just kind of turn the ornament slightly so that where the X goes will be right in line with my body. And then I go ahead and make the X. Rocking the tool back and forth. That's easy. Now I want to go backwards and get the M. So turn the ornament so that where the M would be is right straight in front of me. And I'll do the outside bar and then another outside bar. Then just like I did on the crossbar of the A, I'm only going to use a portion of the tool. I'm lifting so this tip of the tool is up out of the clay because it's a little bit too long for that. Now that is really simple and so this tool works out great with letters that are straight. Now I want to show you a little embellishment you can do with the same tool just to jazz up these straight letters a bit. And What you could do is just poke gently at each tip of each letter and spin the tool and that creates sort of a little serif design on the tip of each letter. So now you have two different lettering styles that you can do with the purple tool that comes enclosed in the kit. If you have a name that's more curvy, like has a lot of O's or S's or C's, curved letters, or if you want to try writing in cursive on your ornament, um, what I recommend is our two millimeter ball tool which comes in our style and detail tools. So for this ornament, I'm going to write the name Bella. Bella has five letters, and one of the middle letters is an L, so I'm going to start there, right under the paw. Now, when you're doing working with the two millimeter ball tool, you want to just etch so lightly in the clay. So at first, you can probably hardly see the indention. Once you have an outline of the letter, then go ahead and keep working it back and forth, going deeper each time. It's really important to work shallow and then gradually go deeper so that you don't rough up the clay with the tool. So that's my middle L. Turn the ornament again and start again with another L. I'm going so lightly and then gradually working deeper. This just gradually pushes the ultralight down a little bit deeper each time I make a motion through the letter that keeps little bits of the clay from roughing up on top. And also, the, the cool thing about ultralight is, once you've made an indention in it, the clay kind of pillows up around your mark. Okay, right here, you can see I've kind of roughed up the clay because I went too deep too fast, so I'm just going to remove that with my fingertip and start again. Okay, now here where I want to add a tail on my A, it's important to drag back through the line that already exists, but then when I get out here and I cross over and outside the line, I want to go very shallow again and then gradually make it deeper. And look for areas that aren't quite as deep and go back over those as well. You can kind of pull up a neat little bump here on the tip of the A to make a nice finish. Now I want to start and go backwards the other way. So I want to line up where my E will go right here in front of me. 
You really want to be able to visualize these letters in your head. Maybe if you write them down on a scrap piece of paper and have it um, close by so you can continually look over and see that you're making the letters the way you want them. That's uh, probably a good idea too. There's my E and I'm going to back up one more space and put a B. Okay, so I've got my straight line in first, so here's where you need to start really carefully to break through that straight line, going really, really shallow. Make that line join with the straight one like this. And I'm breaking out again here, so I have to go really shallow and easy here. And then come back and go a little deeper. And go over the whole letter to make sure it's all connected. You can even put like a little decorative tail right out there. And there's Bella. Alright, well I hope you'll try all these techniques and have fun making some keepsake ornaments of your own pets.